Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to set paid appointments for the WPLMS Appointments plugin. So note that we are using WooCommerce for setting up paid appointments. So all the benefits of WooCommerce such as your custom payment gateway will work with the appointment booking system in the WPLMS Appointments plugin. So once you have installed and configured the settings of the appointments in the LMS settings tab and if you have WooCommerce enabled when you view any instructor's profile you will see a appointments tab and in the appointments tab you will see a settings tab and in the settings tab there are two sub tabs one is general and the other is schedule calendar so in the general sub tab you will find a default slot price so note that when you set any value here in the default slot price and click on save it creates a product which is tied to this user's profile and this product is is not visible on the front end it is only visible to the administrator in the back end so if you open the shop page you won't see any product which is for the appointments however if you open the woocommerce product product section products all products section and here you'll see that we have a appointment slot price for instructor and the value is dollar five so note that this is a hidden product as of now so it is not visible on the front end in any of the widgets it will not be available when a student tr tries to book this appointment by going to the schedule and clicking on and you'll see the price and you can select the number of slot which gets multiplied by the number of price and then you can go on and confirm the booking okay. and as soon as the user clicks on confirm booking he lands on the WooCommerce card page as you can see and here you can see the slots which are selected for the booking of this instructor and the price as you can see so the quantity is not available to be edited and the and this particular slots these all these slots remain in the cart for 15 minutes now these 15 minutes are controlled by the settings in the lms settings appointments tab which is the maximum appointment booking time to complete the purchase of the slot or schedules so note that for that particular time it's in minutes so for this particular time the slot will remain unavailable and then student can proceed to check out and complete the purchase just like a so once the order is approved since I use the payment gateway as direct bank transfer the order needs to be approved manually So for card based transactions where the orders are completed in real time, this step is not required. So once you have completed the order, the student can go to their appointment section in their profiles and here they will see the appointment that are created as a student and, and the instructor will see those appointments in the instructing appointments tab so next is connecting schedules and slots with the courses so as an instructor if you go to courses instructing courses section and if you edit any course in the component section you will need to enable the course bookings by students so the main difference between a instructor booking and the course booking is that there is a concept of schedule for the course bookings 
so a student can book an entire schedule which is a predefined sequence of slots for the courses so when you go to the components and enable the course bookings you can enable appointment bookings for all course members or all logged in members and then there is the second setting for that is the appointment approval so in case of all paid appointments the approval is always automatic next is the appointment color for easy identification when the students view their calendar they will be able to identify the the course bookings from this color then there is a booking message or form <coughs> and then we have the appointment slots so you can select the appointment slots and then click on save the already selected appointment slots will appear with a cross icon so when you click on cross icon the schedule will be disconnected note that you can only connect schedules with the courses and then you you have to click on save up components to set the pricing for the for these for the course connected uh, slots and schedules you have to go to the pricing section and here you will see enable pricing for appointment or bookings and when you set the pricing as paid so if you set the pricing for the appointment bookings as free it will revert to the default value default instructor pricing and you can set a price per slot and a price per schedule and you can also so the schedule is a predefined sequence of slots for example a student can book a yoga class a single yoga class for dollar 10 and a sequence of three yoga classes for dollar 20 so in in that case the instructor will need to ensure that the that the uh, that the schedules that he is selecting in the appointment slots have the same duration and then you can save the pricing now when you view the course you will see a book sub tab clicking on it will load the load the calendar as you can see and and you can see the slot price and the schedule price so when we click on it you can select slots or you can book the entire schedule for dollar 20 so in case of multiple instructors i have added another instructor to this course and here i have logged in as the instructor and if i go to the dashboard and appointments and in the settings enable sheet booking and then save the settings and then set some availability schedules sometimes and we can break into one hour slots and save now since i am the co-author if i go to the courses instructing courses section i will see the course and when i edit the course in the component section i will see that the course bookings by student is already enabled but since i but there are no slots so here the instructor will see only his uh, slots his schedules that he has selected for the course so if we now add the slot add the schedule and in the pricing similarly in the pricing i will have to the instructor will need to set the price for his slots so for example the price per slot is 4 and for 
entire schedule it is 50 now if we go back to our course and in the book section here we see that there are two two instructors and you can see there is a slight change of colors in both and you can click on the instructor to show the schedule so it will show only the instructor schedule whereas so you can switch between the instructors for the schedules and the user can book any slot so for example for this instructor the price is 4 and you can select or you can book the entire schedule for fifty dollars so that's it from WPLMS tutorials thanks for watching